Hello everybody and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses. Last time we defeated the Red Rose uh, story mode where we joined Yugi's team and, def and defeated all of Kaiba's enemies and the secret boss and yada yada. This time we are joining Kaiba's forces. Uh, we get to keep everything as the same, our deck is the same. Uh, the only difference is we're going to be fighting all of Yugi's friends and Yugi's soldiers. So yeah, let's do it. Teo will be our first opponent and for all of you that are curious, the enemies aren't buffed up. These are still the same enemies you would be fighting if you had picked um, if you had picked this to fight for Kaiba first rather than Yugi first. Um, if you fight for Kaiba's team first, the game is like a hundred times harder because Yugi's forces surprisingly are stronger. They are very tough opponents and very annoying to fight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make Harpy's Pet Dragon, which is a 2,000 attack point dragon fused with a thunder monster will create. The twin-headed thunder dragon and we're gonna put it up there and see if she takes the bait her deck leader is the dancing elf and i don't remember her boss monster so i'll put it on screen obviously uh don't expect me to know everything off the top of my head i kind of do know it but i haven't i haven't had to look at it in a while so my memory's just not there Ooh, we have kairushin now yay okay so we're gonna just play our ritual card just to take up space it doesn't it doesn't cost us anything and we'll get to draw a new card next turn uh, we'll move it up one to bait her into attacking it, and we'll just keep going. So yeah, Taya is honestly a pretty good first opponent, but every duel after this is gonna- the difficulty is just gonna spike. I think the next duel isn't too bad, but the du the third duel that you do is like impossible for a newcomer. So I definitely recommend you side with Yugi's first, Yugi first, because otherwise it's just gonna be hell. It's not gonna be a fun game. Not for anybody. So what we're gonna do... We're going to move forward, we're going to summon Kairushin, and then we're going to attack this monster. Mystical Elf, interesting. Ooh, a power increase. A big power increase. That was a thousand, 800 attack points. Um, but since we just changed the field to water, our two-headed Thunder Dragon is going to get a huge attack boost when it attacks uh, the other monster. Even though the other monster did just get a power increase. Uh, normally I'd let you guys see it, but no, we already saw what Kaiyushin does. It's like a water blast of some sort. So, ignoring that, he just got spellbound. That's unlucky. Uh, we're gonna attack him with our 3300 attack. Holy shit! That is a strong monster right there. 2600 attack points. Damn, Weevil was way easier than this girl. I don't think Weevil ever summoned anything with 2600 attack. So, good, good. We know what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to move this card forward just to scare her from moving to the right. I want her to move into the water where I can do a 3300 attack. Or do an attack that does 3300 damage. Damn, I couldn't scare her. Either the AI is good or she's just a man. Or I should say brave. And the uh, duel's over. The game is always easier the second time around because you already have a deck made. So there you go, everybody. We defeated Taya in like two minutes. I hope you enjoyed the duel. Um, let's get this card and I think I'm going to do a twofer just for you people. We're going to do two battles in one episode, which I don't normally like to do. I want that Mystical L because I'm curious about that effect. Got it. Okay, useless. And whatever that is. So we got Mystical L. I, I kind of like the effect that it did, so yeah, we'll keep that. Uh, I threw in a bunch of useless cards in our deck just so that we could fight her because our deck was too strong to fight her, so I'm definitely going to have to change that. Yep, you lost. Now give me a Red Rose card. So now that we're on the White Rose team, we're going to be winning Red Rose cards. And, um, yeah, just do whatever Kaiba tells us, basically. Let's see. What did we get? Now we're going to be fighting Tristan. As you can, and you, as you can see by his power level, he is very strong. So, we'll, oh, he has strong monsters. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put the cards we want in our deck in our deck. So get rid of all these useless fake traps that we're taking up space. But we needed so that we can actually play against play against him. Take out Legendary Sword, it's not that important to us. And let's see what you do. All your light monsters gain 800 points. That is a really good effect. Especially for something with 2,000 defense, so... Huh, maybe one day. We'll put the two Curse of Dragons we own in our deck, and we need two more cards. Let's look at our types. We don't have any more dragons. Uh, Mistwell Elf is nice, but we don't really use light monsters that often. We could always put Kaizijin back in. We can put Pumpkin King back in, just as a, a win condition. Lava Battle Guard, Swamp Battle Guard. Yeah, I do like that combination. 
It's not a good combination, but it's a fun one, so we're gonna do that. Uh, we can have a little bit of fun this time around because we actually know what we're doing now. We can, we don't have to face very powerful opponents next. Our opponent right now is going to be pretty weak. The third opponent we have to fight is strong, so I probably will take a, uh, take away a few cards when we fight that person. Tristan, let's do this. All right, two duels in one episode. Let's see how this one goes. Hopefully this one isn't 20 minutes. Even if it was, it would still be not that bad, but... Yeah, his field is also very interesting. He doesn't exactly have one type he's good at. He normally has warrior types or dark types, but um, Tristan is all around. He has like every card in the game. So that's why all of the fields are different. Except he doesn't have a mountain field, which I do not enjoy. Because I want a mountain field. Uh, we'll just summon great now. We'll just summon nothing. We'll do nothing. I love his card, the Carbonola Warrior. In the actual uh, game, it's a horrible monster, but I love it because it's a warrior with 1500 attack that you have to fuse to summon, and you get it by summoning the, the M Warriors, so I just love the M Warriors, they're cool. So he summoned the Mysterious Puppeteer, a warrior type monster. Pretty interesting card, I think it has an effect in this game, as it does in the real game. It does not have an effect in this game. In the normal Yu-Gi-Oh game, it has an effect that I could not explain because it's like a paragraph long. And Kairushin doesn't have an effect in the normal game, which is weird. It's like a flip, they flip the script. But yeah, we defeated his monster. So let's see, what else do you got? I wonder what this guy's boss monster is. I don't think I've ever seen it. Because his his deck is usually, I usually defeat him pretty easily. He could be even easier than Taya at, at some points, but not always, not always. I don't think this makes anything, but we're still doing it. Yeah, just because I want the direct attack. Get a direct attack in, do 1600 damage. I know it puts me in the line of fire and he can destroy my great white next turn, but I don't really care about taking damage. It's not really gonna, it's not a threat to me. So let's see what this does. Do you have any cards strong enough to defeat great white? No, you do not. Really? Your, your deck has over 1100 power and you still couldn't defeat the great white, which uh, is no longer the great white. Alright, so what we're going to do is we summon an Arakaishin, we're going to flip it face up right here, trans transforming the water field right where our other Kaioshin is. Since that just became the water field, it lets us move two spaces, and we win the duel. That is called being tact tactical. That was just as quick as the last one, what the hell? I mean, I think it's long enough for an episode, but I'm just, I'm worried now. I know the next duel won't be easy at all, but still, that was a joke. Oh, I want a Carbonola Warrior. They're cool. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> all right. We already have one in our deck, actually, but I wanted another one because we have a Warrior slash Beast slash Dragon deck slash Wing Beast. We use a Mountain slash Soujin deck. That's what we use. So I'm glad we did it. Yeah, I did beat the crab out of you instead of saying crap. Whew, not too bad, not too bad, people. We're doing good. I think we're doing pretty good. So next time we're going to face our next opponent, which uh, is going to be my Valentine, which our deck is too powerful for, so we're going to have to change out some monsters. But that'll all be next time. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.